Okay, here we are with another video, and today we are putting the patch, the custom patch here, the champ, and the champ on the side. We're gonna print the patch, embroider the patch. I hand sew it on here, and we're gonna show you how it's done. All right, and let's uh, let's make it happen. All right, so we got the. My brother, they got the brother PE. It's in the dark, huh? 535. Can you see it? Anyway, it don't matter. Load up the USB. And you can load stuff in folders. Let's go back. Which does work. I don't have anything in these folders. Nope. I don't have anything, but you can search them. Anyway, let's. Change that to the big one. Let's move over. Find what we're looking for. The champ. I'm not even sure which one it is. I think it's that one. If not, I'll print the other one. Uh, let's look at the other one and see. I don't know why I have two. Oh, that's the little one. That's why. Let's try to see how big I can make it. Yeah, it's as big as it goes. We don't want that. Okay, so let's load up the little one, the big one. Get ready to print. Let's move it to the top. I like to move so I can maximize space in case I want to use the scraps. All right, set. And let's and get everything set up. Okay, so we're ready to go. I got the image set. Got my fabric. Everything set. It's all threaded. And we're going to print white. It's a pink, but I'm going to have it match this. So I'm going to do white and blue with the white border. And let's... Oh, I didn't thread it. There we go. Boom. And it should only take one minute. Done. We done. Let's lift it up and change the thread. Okay. Okay. Blue is, is ready to thread. I don't know. For some reason, it has doing this one line and then it's going to stitch the rest. But who knows? And since we're doing the same color for the rest, and not just that one blue line, we'll just keep it going. I need to change the thread and press start. So we're done with that. Now it's time for the outline. Came out decent, but there's like a little piece. It didn't stitch this time up here, but on this other one, see it did it fine right here. There's no gap, but who knows? Maybe I didn't put this tight enough or stretch it out properly, but uh, on to the outline. <clears throat> All right, got the new one printed and cut it. Still loaded to some edges. I probably should have used the white background instead of this black, but that's all I got. So let's stitch this on the hat and see how it comes out. We're back, finished product. Got the hat right here. Here's another hat that I made. This one I stitched directly on the hat. This is not sewn on. So I just brought it directly on the hat. And this hat, it's hard to fold down these hats right here. You know, because it don't stay flat. Dad hats work cool, but these baseball hats, stitching on this machine is not the business. So, here's the patch. 
Got the logo here and the little one on the side. Let me fix it so we can try it on. So this one on by hand. How we looking? Are we smooth? Are we sharp? Are we killing it? So let me show you another one. Let me show you another one. See this another patch that I saw it on. And uh I like it. I like the patch. I like the patch. So it's a little easier to do something like this with the patch than to do it embroidered. Uh, it is embroidery, but just embroidered straight on the hat on this machine. Can be done, but it's super hard with these baseball hats. All right, something small like this right in the center. This stays relatively straight and doesn't have too much curve when you slap it down. All right, so this is pretty easy to do. It doesn't move too much at all. So we got the patch. Killing it. And that's that. Boom.